this is really a great honor for me and also a great uh, pleasure to uh, congratulate Michael and all the good people of uh, Fort Wayne uh, in Indiana, in America, in this uh, 22nd birthday of the Indiana Center for Peace in the Middle East. Every year for so many years you have bothered to come to us in the bleeding uh, Middle East and also invited us over to come to you. These encounters have always been wonderful, enlightening, exciting, empowering and very helpful. So happy birthday. I wish that the outcome of the November elections will be such that we will have uh, eventually peace in the Middle East of one state or two states or more and people will be able to live uh, together side by side in equality, in dignity and uh, well-being. And uh, we will have uh, no longer need for peace organizations such as the Bereaved Families Forum and also no need for the Indiana Center for Peace in the Middle East. Inshallah. Dearest Michael, happy birthday for Indiana Center for Middle East Peace. Thank you for your friendship and your relationship for peace and justice in Palestine. Happy birthday, Indiana Center for Middle East Peace. Thank you for supporting justice and peace in Palestine. We love you, Michael.
Happy birthday, Indiana Center for Middle East Peace. This is quite a unique birthday in that it's the center celebration, but as friends and supporters, we seem to be getting nearly all the gifts. We thank you for the gift of new friends around the globe and of deepening friendships closer to home. Thank you for bringing scholars, authors, business women and men, theologians and peace advocates to us to enlighten and inform. They've surely shown us new ways to peace and to unity. And thanks also for linking us to partners in the Middle East who are doing the real work of achieving a just peace and lasting social change. Thank you. Happy birthday.